Hello and welcome to this webinar on the language used in learning outcomes and assessment criteria. My name is Sophie Boyce and I'm an editor at Laser Systems, where I see specifications for a wide range of qualifications and awarding bodies almost daily. In these specifications, we often see learning outcomes starting with particular words that let us know how learning can be evidenced, and assessment criteria starting with words or verbs that specify how a learner can show that they have met it. In this webinar, I want to talk you through the two different types of learning outcomes, what verbs like describe or produce really mean, and some methods that can be used to assess learning. To make sure I'm giving you the best possible information, there are a couple of documents that have informed this talk today, and I'll link these in the description box for you, or they're up on the screen here. And they are How To, A Guide to Assessing Cash QCF Qualifications by Cash, and Guidelines for Writing Credit-Based Units for Assessment for the Qualifications and Credit Framework by QCF. Learning outcomes set out what a learner is expected to know, understand, or be able to do as a result of the process of learning. In other words, what the learner will take away with them from the learning experience and be able to apply in the future. There are two types of learning outcomes, competence or skills-based and knowledge-based. Each learning outcome must follow on from the statement, the learner will dot dot dot. A learning outcome that is competence or skills based will begin with be able to, and an outcome that is knowledge based will begin with know, understand, or know how to. Assessment criteria specifies the standard a learner is expected to meet to demonstrate the learning outcomes of a unit has been achieved. The language used will be explicit, unambiguous and objective. So if you're unsure of what the learning outcome is asking of you, look to the assessment criteria for a detailed breakdown. If you're an assessor, trainer or tutor, use the assessment criteria to help you decide what method to use. And I'll go into more detail on this later. Each assessment criteria must follow on from the statement, the learner can dot dot dot. Criteria will then begin with verbs like produce, reflect, identify, evaluate, etc. These verbs will be very much dependent on a couple of factors. Number one, whether the learning outcome is competence or skills or knowledge based. And number two, the level of the qualification. It's important to note that criteria may contain a number of these verbs in a sentence, not just as a starting word. For example, the level three qualification event management includes the unit organising and delivering a community event. Learning outcome one for this unit is be able to plan a community event. And the assessment criteria is 1.1, plan each stage of the event, describing and justifying required resources and activities to include, and then A, B, C, and D. 1.2, record targets for the completion of each stage. In 1.1, we can see that the learner has been able to ask to plan, describe, and justify. The evidence they provide should cover all three verbs. In a learning outcome, a learner must demonstrate they have the knowledge and understanding, application and action, and the autonomy and accountability. What this specifically means varies by level, and I'll use the cash document to summarise this. I'll also give you an idea of the verbs you can expect to find in assessment criteria using level one and level four as examples. Achievement at level one reflects the ability to use relevant knowledge, skills and procedures to complete routine tasks. It includes responsibility for completing tasks and procedures subject to direction or guidance. At level one, you can expect to find the following verbs in the assessment criteria. I'll give you some examples. Carry out, which means completing a task or activity. Develop, which means building on a topic or activity. Identify, which means listing or naming the main points. Produce, which means making, creating, bringing or finding, and show, which means giving or demonstrating information or knowledge. Achievement at level four reflects the ability to identify and use relevant understanding, methods and skills to address problems that are well-defined, but complex and non-routine. It includes taking responsibility for overall courses of action, as well as exercising autonomy and judgment within fairly broad perimeters. It also reflects understanding of different perspectives or approaches within an area of study or work. At level four, you can expect to find the following verbs in the assessment criteria. Clarify, which means explaining the information in a clear, concise way, showing a depth of understanding. Describe, which means providing a broad range of detailed information about the topic or item in a logical way. Discuss, which means giving a detailed account with a wide range of views, opinions, and contrasting perspectives. Explain, which means applying reasoning to account for how something is, 
or to show understanding of underpinning concepts and justify, which means giving a detailed explanation of the reasons for actions or decisions. The full list of verbs and their explanations across level one to five can be found in the cash document link below. Learners will be guided by their assessor, tutor or trainer as to how they can provide evidence to meet the assessment criteria for the units. Let's take a moment to talk about some of the assessment methods that are suitable for assessing skills or competence and knowledge. There are some methods that can be applied to both, such as directly observing a learner, having a professional discussion, using expert witness testimony, learner's own work products, portfolio of evidence and reflective account. And then there are methods that can only be used to assess knowledge, such as written and pictorial information, scenarios and case studies and tasks set by the awarding body. If we think back to the assessment criteria in the unit on organising and delivering a community event, then an assessor could ask a learner to submit their event plan with targets, so a work product, to meet the assessment criteria 1.1 and 1.2. I hope that this webinar has been a good introduction to the language used in learning outcomes and assessment criteria and will help you if you're a learner to know what's expected of you and how to achieve the outcome. If you're an assessor, trainer or tutor, I hope this has been a good starting point for knowing how to set tasks and activities for learners based on the different verbs used. If you'd like to find out more or have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us.